One of my favorite fish to eat is sole. It's a white fish known for its mild and delicate flavor. It's light and healthy like the side I'll be pairing it up with, kale. Kale is often called the dieter's dream food because it's unusually high in fiber. So you end up feeling full for longer periods of time while eating less. But of course, how could you go wrong with a couple slices of my seasoned whole wheat garlic bread? This whole meal from start to finish will only take you approximately 20 minutes. When you are done cooking, I guarantee you will love my grilled sole in papio with a side of sauteed kale and garlic toasts. First, you'll want to slice three small yellow squash about a quarter inch thick. Drizzle with two teaspoons of olive oil, then toss with salt, pepper, and Cajun spices. Cut four slices from a whole wheat baguette. Brush olive oil on each slice and season with salt, pepper, garlic and onion powders, parsley, and red pepper flakes. Make sure to rinse the kale, then remove the leaves from the stem. Grab a large pot, place it on the stove, and add one tablespoon of olive oil. Heat over medium to high heat and add two minced garlic cloves. Sprinkle with salt. Saute for 30 seconds to one minute, then add your kale leaves and stir to coat. Let the kale cook down for approximately two minutes. Then add half a cup of chicken broth, lower the heat, and cover with a lid. So in the meantime, we can get started on the next part of our meal. Take your fillets of sole and season both sides with salt and pepper. Take two 12-inch pieces of tinfoil and crease at about the halfway point. Layer the prepared squash on one half of the tinfoil. Take your sole filet and place it on top of the squash, sort of like a little bed for your fish. Before this next step, pull up the sides of your tinfoil. Drizzle your filet with one to two tablespoons of white cooking wine and sprinkle with dried parsley. Top off with two thinly sliced pieces of lemon and two pats of butter. Seal the pouch by creasing the corners of the tinfoil first. Then make your way all the way around until the pouch is completely sealed so no air can get in or out. Grilling time! Once the grill reaches 375 degrees, add your fish pouches. This would be a good time to add your bread as well. Make sure they are face up so the bottom gets toasted. Let the bread toast for two minutes, then flip it on its other side. In another two minutes, remove the bread from the grill. The fish will need to cook for six to seven minutes on the grill with the lid closed. This is a good time to check on your kale. If the leaves are wilted and cooked through, remove your kale from the heat. Remove your fish pouches from the grill once your six to seven minutes has passed. The fish will continue to cook in the pouch until it's opened. Place the fish pouch on your plate with the kale and seasoned garlic toast. Open it up and enjoy.
grilled sole in papio with a side of sautéed kale and garlic toasts. A quick healthy meal that tastes great. I guarantee you will love it. The ingredients you will need for this dish are sole fillets, kale, whole wheat baguette, garlic, olive oil, lemon slices, white cooking wine, chicken stock, butter, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, crushed red pepper, and parsley.